like they were forgotten, and that's just a real shame. A shame on us as the public, but a real shame on the government for how they were treated. The revamp program was one of the most impressive and popular government programs ever devised. Even I can't complain that much about it. This was the one time that the government seemed to actually care about our veterans. They were given a chance to fight for their country after injury and, of course, something this good couldn't last. Far be it from me, your humble host, to hold this government, a government completely controlled by the corporate interests, accountable for its treatment of our veterans. Let's not forget that the revamped soldiers were heroes. They were heroes! Captain Mick Jameson was a man that kids could look up to and what real men wanted to be like. He and his cyber squad were dynamic, they were powerful, they were true examples of American exceptionalism. Cyber soldiers, they are the perfect combination of American martial prowess and American industry. They did the job that normally took hundreds or thousands of soldiers with just 10. 10! 10 soldiers! And the government said they were too expensive. Too expensive! Is freedom too expensive? I ask you, is freedom too expensive? Is security of this nation too expensive? Of course Captain Jameson went rogue when the disarming came and we wish you Godspeed, sir. We hope you're out there fighting the good fight. Now, let's switch gears a minute. We gotta talk about these reports of a dragon man outside of Rio de Janeiro.